Hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of Turboelectric Tuesdays, where we dive into the technique of separating botanical particles using static electricity. If you're curious about this topic, keep watching. Triboelectric series is a list of materials in order of their tendency to acquire an electric charge through friction or triboelectricity. This ranking is based on the relative electronegativity of different materials. In other words, it predicts which materials will become positively charged and which materials will become negatively charged when they come into contact with one another. Materials at the top of the triboelectric series are considered triboelectrically positive, while materials at the bottom are considered triboelectrically negative. When two materials from opposite ends of the series come into contact, they can transfer electrons from one to the other, resulting in a net electric charge on each material. However, it's important to note that the position of a material in the triboelectric series does not necessarily reflect its absolute charge. The charge on a material depends on several factors, including relative humidity, temperature, and other environmental conditions. So when making dry sift, what happens when you use an aluminum frame? Someone asked me, what about the charge from the frame itself? Have you tried a wooden frame too? Did you notice any difference? To which we replied that aluminum has no charge and that would not help or hinder the charge. Aluminum's position in the triboelectric series is listed as having a positive charge. However, this ranking only reflects aluminum's tendency to become charged when brought into contact with other materials, not its absolute charge. In practical applications, such as using aluminum frames, the charge acquired by the material through triboelectricity may be negligible or not noticeable, as the charge can easily be neutralized by other means. In conclusion, triboelectric series is a useful tool for predicting the behavior of materials when they come into contact with one another. However, it's important to remember that a material's position in the triboelectric series does not necessarily reflect its absolute charge, which depends on various factors. Before we finish, I'd like to know if you have experience or ideas about this process. If so, please share in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Thank you.